How you doing? I'm Winsory, and today we're going to be watching The Fly. Why? Because it won October's Patreon monthly poll, and everyone says it's really good. It's supposed to be scary, I think. So yeah, don't know much about this movie except for the fact that it has Jeff Goldblum in it, and for that, I am excited. I've seen him in Jurassic Park, and he's very funny, and he goes... <laughs> Anybody know what I'm talking about? <laughs> so, uh, yeah. That's all I know about this movie so far. Thank you for being here, and let's watch the movie. Rated R for nudity, violence, alcohol use, smoking, foul language, and sexual content. That's a lot of stuff. It reminds me of the thing so far. It really does. Howard Shore. It's gonna be good music. Howard Shore did Lord of the Rings, didn't he? I'm working on something that'll change the world. You'll have to be more specific. Y you could come back to my lab. Mm. I'll make a cappuccino. Somehow I get the feeling you don't get out much. <laughs> you can tell that? Yeah. They always know. It's okay, buddy. Me neither. And she just leaves. <laughs> wow. I think you really want to talk to me. I have three other interviews to do. But they're not working on something that'll change the world as we know it. <laughs> they say they are. Yeah, but they're lying. I'm not. <laughs> he's coming on real strong. Yeah, he's weird. Oh, are you sick? <sighs> yeah. You're not a very accomplished drunk. <laughs> so when I was a kid, I uh, puked on my tricycle. Wow. I hate vehicles. He's kind of awkward. <laughs> oh, wow. This is it? Uh, cleaner on the inside. Oh, she's so pretty. This is a lair. Like, oh my gosh. Ooh, what you got? Oh, he's really playing that. Maybe this is a bad idea. Oh, it's too late. You've already seen them. Can't let you leave here alive. Designer phone booths. Is that what that is? I will get out of there. I know it was a joke, but still. Call them telepods. Say, do you have something uh, on you that's uh, personal? An item of clothing or jewelry? Just give him a sock. Okay. Oh, I think she's flirting with you. I don't wear jewelry. It's nice. <laughs> Brundle, Seth. Keep your eye on the stocking. I don't know about this. Teleportation. Teleportation? <laughs> he looks so happy with himself. <laughs> well, I would be too if I had an invention that could teleport things. <sighs> Where's my stocking? That's it, the real one. Your stocking has just been teleported. I thought this was personal. You can't write about this. I'm a journalist. Oh, no, 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 no. This is the most exciting thing I've ever seen. No, no. Come here, you what about your stock? Keep it for good luck. Oh, that's sad. <laughs> you should tell people before you start taping them. <laughs> He's conning you. I was there, I saw it. Your magician has followed you here. <laughs> magician. If you plan to make anything disappear, please. I've got an assistant editor who's outlived his usefulness. <laughs> he thinks you're a con man. Excellent. <laughs> I've come here to say one magic word to you. Cheeseburger. If this gets out now, Veronica, it'll kill me. It's not ready yet. It can only teleport inanimate objects. What happens when you try to teleport living things? Not while we're eating. <laughs> Let me become your major project. I don't have a life, so there's nothing for you to interfere with. <laughs> a complete record of the most earth-shattering invention ever. <laughs> He's got a French fry. <laughs> okay, so maybe this isn't a scary movie. Maybe it's more like sci-fi. This is pretty cool though. I like this so far. Someone's in your house. <laughs> How did you get in? I have a key, you remember? I know I should have changed the lock. You still want me to come back? I'm yeah, lazy and disorganized. <laughs> I can't tell if they're friends or... Oh no. Where'd you get that? Oh no. What else? Why didn't it work? I think it uh, turned the baboon inside out. I think so too. You can't deal with the flesh. It's nothing that's living. Okay, then stop using living things. Because... Oh. I don't want to talk now. Me neither. I don't even know what to say. There's a dead monkey now. Why? Every single movie we watch together, some adorable creature dies. He should stop using 
cute things. Do you ever change your clothes? <laughs> what? <laughs> you shouldn't ask people that. Uh, oh yeah, he really just has the same outfit. Five sets of exactly the same clothes? <laughs> Learned it from Einstein. I love it. Genius. I should do that. You're very cute. You know that? Am I? Ooh. What happened? Oh, oh my back. Ow. Oh god, something stuck to your back. Oh. Oh, what the hell is that? Want to try an experiment? No, do not go in there. Uh, rest in peace to this steak. You know how steaks turn out. It's a perfectly good steak, sir. What would Gordon Ramsay tell you? What would he say about this? It tastes like a steak. <laughs> what is happening? Teleported half. A monkey just came apart in there. Baboon. Thank you. And that doesn't make any difference. Okay, it's funny. I bet it does. Synthetic. It tastes like baboon. The computer is giving us its interpretation of a steak, translating it for us. <laughs> Something is getting lost in the translation. Yeah, don't eat that one. Don't eat the teleported steak. She likes him. I'm glad she agreed to drop the story. Oh, what is this? <gasps> Ugh. What? I followed you. You stayed with Brundle all night. Okay. I am finally onto something that's big, huge. Yeah? What? His cock? <laughs> crude status. Very crude. Ugh. I don't have to report to you, you creep. I'll spend the night anywhere I damn well please. You tell him. What a weirdo. I'm not another one. Where are you getting these monkeys? Someone needs to stop giving them to you. Oh gosh. Oh jeez. Oh jeez. <laughs> What's next? Change your locks. Send the baboon out for tests, see if he's really okay. We could take a holiday. Oh, that's a great idea. Let's teleport there. <laughs> Please don't. Oh, yeah, from your editor. I'm sorry. Somebody slipped it under the door. Oh, he's gonna do it anyway. I thought old married couples shared all their personal bullshit. That's how they stayed old and married. I still have the residue of another life. I have to scrape it off my shoe. Yeah, you sh really should. That guy is weird. This is not your story. It's mine. He's been working on this thing for six years. Just keep me informed. As a friend? That's all. I don't want you to disappear from my life. I don't trust him at all. Residue means your old boyfriend, doesn't it? She's working for her old boyfriend. Now she runs out late and like to see him. Oh, stop. This is... <laughs> this will get you nowhere. I didn't mean to kill your brother. <laughs> a fly. There's a fly. What are we waiting for? Let's do it. You, you leave him alone. He's nice. It's a weird looking monkey. But he's cute. <laughs> oh no, what are you doing? Oh no. Hi, buddy. Why are you doing this by yourself? You've only been successful once with this. This is not smart. <laughs> Am I different somehow? Too bad Ronnie missed it. You were lucky to not be exploded, sir. I could have been. Disastrous. See, she came back to you. She's not interested in that weirdo. I missed you last night. I came back. I went through last night. Without testing the baboon? I was drunk. I was a bit upset. He seems all right. I wouldn't do it again, though. Are you sleeping with Stathis Barnes? That's why you were upset? I got jealous. Why, his name is Stethis. You don't have to be jealous. Especially of Stethis. Is he still in love with you? How could he not be? <laughs> don't worry, I taped it for you. What's with this fly? Y'all, I have no idea what's happening here. I'm surprised you caught it. That's really hard to do. What? What? Oh, wow. <laughs> She's... <so laughs> That's impressive. Oh, jeez. Oh my gosh. <laughs> She's like, dang! I didn't know you could do that. I don't know what to make of this. I really don't. That I've been uh, obsessively pursuing goal after goal. Do you normally take coffee with your sugar? You know, I, I just don't think I've ever given me a chance to be me. It may be true that the synchronicity of those uh, human teleportation. And waiter! Oh my goodness. He seems very manic right now. <laughs> Either that or too much sugar and caffeine. What's this? Hairs or something. 
happens when you get all the weird hair configurations. I don't know. <laughs> My new hair is what are you doing? I don't really think you want a body covered with these. I want you to go through. I want to teleport you right now. It's like a drug, but a perfectly pure and benign drug. That'll be the perfect couple, the dynamic duo. <laughs> what do I have to say? I'm not gonna do it. You're a fucking drag. You know that? <laughs> Something went wrong. I'll say. Are you chicken shit to be a member of the dynamic duo? I'll find somebody else. Ugh. You're afraid to be destroyed, and recreated, aren't you? <laughs> Into the plasma pool. Oh my gosh. Hey. He's gone mad! <laughs> that looks like it would be fun, but it's like he's got too much energy or something now. I don't think it's a good thing. He's trying to go find someone else. Oh, Scott. Rude. Who's winning? I like Marky tonight. Well, I like you tonight. Hey, pal. I got a hundred bucks says I can beat either one of you. And I get to take the lady home for the night if I win. Ew! Did you ask the lady? <laughs> oh, he looks weird. Yeah, he's probably gonna win. Ew, what? Hey, wait, what's that? <laughs> oh my! Are you a bodybuilder or something? You sure took Marky apart. Well, maybe a few more bars first? Sure, a few more bars. Don't arm wrestle anyone else. <laughs> that was messed up. I'm surprised she's going with him because he seems weird. He's, he's going in there again? It's your turn. He's very interesting. I should go through. No. Be afraid. Be very afraid. Oh, I forgot to tell you, I live with my mother too. Uh, he's weird. You trying to make people go in there? Get weird like you? Good job, girl. You're changing, Seth. You look bad. <laughs> you smell bad. <laughs> Never been much of a bather. <laughs> it's very honest. Weird hairs that were growing out of your back. I took them to a lab. Yeah, that's a strange thing to do. <laughs> but they were definitely not human. Very likely insect hairs. Now there's more. I think you must be sick. You You're know? jealous! You'll do anything to bring me down. No. Does this look like a sick man to you? Oh, stop grabbing people! I don't need you anymore. Dad, please, wait! Don't come back! Oh, she actually cares about him still. Even yeah. though he's... <laughs> I don't even know what to call that. If he's like turning into a... It would appear as if he is turning into a fly, and I don't want to see any more of that. This is already bad enough. What? Oh. Well, what do you have? What is that? Oh no. I don't know. What is that? What? No. I don't want to see anymore. What is happening? Ew! What? Mm -mm. Ew, why is it? No. No! No! My sentiments exactly. Don't do that anymore. What's happening to me? Am I dying? Probably. Is this how it starts? Am I dying? It's not how it's supposed to start. Leave the rest of them on. That's so nasty. I hurt my hands. It's okay, I'll never do that to you. Fat free body. <laughs> Did you see that? What? Oh gosh. Oh no. Oh. Oh. What I tell you? You're turning into a fly. <laughs> oh my god. Okay, so he is fused with the fly. Human fly. Fly human. A flyman. That's horrifying. I hope it doesn't get any worse than what he looks like right now. That's already pretty bad. I feel bad for her. Hello. Seth. <laughs> for the last four weeks, I've been afraid to see you. Four weeks? I've gotten much, much worse. Please come to see me. Four weeks from the last time she saw him, he was already just gnarly. He's gnarly! Don't go in there, he's gnarly! I'm here. Stop. It might be contagious. Yet you're walking toward her. Every time I look in the mirror, it's someone different, someone hideous, repulsive. I know an old lady who swallowed a fly, perhaps she'll die. Oh. Uh, the computer decided to splice us together. Made it as me and the fly. We hadn't even been properly introduced. <laughs> Oh, God. Chef. I think it's showing itself as a 
bizarre form of cancer. There must be something we can do, you know, somebody we can go to. And... No! Well, then what do you want me to do? Why did you call me? Yeah, really. She doesn't want to see you like this and, and not be able to help. <sighs> oh. <sighs> That's disgusting. <gasps> <gasps> oh! It could turn into an epidemic. If you saw him, I'm sure Typhoid Mary was a very nice person too. You say, if only I saw him, show me. Why do you have to ask him? Like, can't you go to some other like scientist or like a doctor or a scientist doctor? That that would that would be great. Do they have those? They should have those. Oh my gosh, I don't even want to see Seth. No, no, up here. Oh no, no. Got pretty good at it, haven't I? Stop biting my nails. Oh my god. I seem to be stricken by a disease with a purpose. <laughs> I know what the disease wants. It wants to turn me into something else. Most people would give anything to be turned into something else. I'd love you to be something else. What do you think, a fly? Brundle fly. <laughs> oh. How does Brundle fly eat? His teeth are now useless. Solid food hurts. Brundle fly breaks down the solids. It looks even worse on camera. Playfully called vomit drop. <laughs> vomit drop. Sucks it back up. <laughs> oh my god. What is it? She cares about him. And he looks gross. I'm pregnant. Oh, hell no. Oh no. Oh no. I'm pregnant with Seth's baby. It might be like a fly baby. Like a, if it's a fly baby, I'm not. I'm, not, I'm out of here. It's going to be all right, Ronnie. It's going to be easy. Don't worry. Here we go. No. You can push it up. You can push it up. Push. Oh, no, wait. <laughs> what? <sighs> oh my gosh, that was disgusting! I would never sleep again. But that was something else. Entirely. Ew, what's wrong with your hands? Uh oh. Oh, what now? Ah! Ah! Why are you smiling like that? Of historical interest only. What? <laughs> You've missed some good moments. The medicine cabinet. You want to see what else is in it? No. <laughs> no. <laughs> I wanted to see you before. You have to leave now and never come back here. Insects, they're very brutal. No compassion. We can't trust the insect. I'd like to become the first insect politician. I'm an insect who dreamt he was a man and loved it. But now the dream is over. No, sit. I'm saying I'll hurt you if you stay. <laughs> no. Let's do it now. I couldn't tell. I don't want it in my body. Oh, oh he's just watching. He doesn't even look. I can't even recognize him anymore. She wants to have an abortion. In the middle of the night? <laughs> it's the child of a man who is deformed. The baby could start off normal and then become. I'll do it myself if I have to. Why no. did you want to kill Brendel? It might be all that's left of the real me. Please don't kill me. I can't. Too bad. Too bad. I don't like this guy either, but at least he's trying here. Man, I wish she had some better friends. <laughs> that scared me for some reason. Okay. Why are you moving so slowly, sir? You got something very scary on the loose. It's just stealing people, apparently. Just taking them right out of the hospital, out the window. Oh. Oh no. Uh -oh. Oh. What are we doing? 
doing here? No, don't. Don't. Please. How long have you been watching this? You could have stepped in a little bit earlier, like two limbs earlier. I hate it when he does this. Help me to be human. I go there. You go there. Come apart. We come together there. You, me, and the baby. How about no? We'll be the ultimate family. More human than I am alone. Oh! 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 God. <laughs> oh! No. Yeah. Did the let's. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. <laughs> oh man, I wish you had a better gun than this. Oh my gosh. I think... Oh my gosh. Oh! Oh my gosh. Run! Run! Oh no, no, no. Oh my gosh. You don't, he, oh man. Oh jeez. Oh man. Why is this kind of sad? Oh, I can't. Oh, why is it sad? Oh man. He's suffering. Just do it. <laughs> oh, this poor guy. He's missing a hand and a, and a foot. <laughs> That's the end? <sighs> oh my gosh, y'all. That was... That was so much. <laughs> I still gotta process this. That was the weirdest thing I've ever seen. Um... <laughs> Why was I kind of sad though? If you're new to my channel, usually what I'll do is I'll watch the movie again, usually a couple times, and then I'll go and edit it, and then I will do some research on it, usually some behind the scenes or read some articles, and then I come back to you with my outro. Okay, so I'll be back with my outro. Oh, this movie's sad. This movie's sad! You never told me it was gonna be sad! I just threw a cat sock at you. That's right. So I think The Fly is at the very top of my list of movies that changed the most uh, the second time I watched it. Then I go to edit my video and I'm just like, Whimsery! You heartless twerp! What are you laughing at? This isn't funny! You were probably thinking that too. I can explain. Like I said, when we watched The Thing, there everyone finds something hilarious. And mine is gross things. Disgusting things. The, the, the emotion of disgust. It's hilarious to me. More funny than anything else in the entire world. It just worked out that way for me. And so, like, this movie is top tier entertainment for me. <sighs> That's disgusting. I just loved it. However, the second time I watched it, the shocking, disgusting, scary stuff had lost some of its influence. I just thought to myself, this is just tragic. This is actually a really sad story. For example, when Brundle's ear falls off, I am just having the time of my life watching this repulsive chaos unfold before my eyes, right? I watch it again, and then I notice that when he tells Victoria I'm scared. he's a living, breathing creature, okay? And he's in pain. Or when he's explaining how he eats food now that he's no longer all the way human, he says Solid food hurts. That's that is just so heartbreaking. It just, it hurts my heart. So, I didn't know this, but there's actually a short story from 1957 and also an older movie from 1958 that this movie is inspired by. From what I can tell from the description, uh, the older one is very, very different, so I'll probably end up watching that on my own time. Maybe I have weird taste, but The Fly is now one of my 
favorite movies. Um, and it's for so many reasons, but I think the main reason for it being so impressive to me is the practical effects. Like, I can't think of many examples of makeup being done this well. So Chris Wayless is a special effects and makeup artist. He's also a writer. He's actually a director. He went on to direct The Fly 2 a couple years after this. So Wayless designed the Gremlins. Um, he helped with some of the aliens from Return of the Jedi. He's also the inspiration of so many people's nightmares as the person responsible for this scene. <laughs> Remember how much I loved that scene? Anyway, super talented guy. He, along with Stephen Dupuis, uh, they earned an Academy Award for this movie for um, best makeup. Definitely deserved. I can't imagine all the work that went into creating all these different stages of Brundle. Like there's all of these different versions. He, he goes from this to this to this and there's so many more in it. there's like six or seven different uh different eras of brundlefly and they're all just disturbing except for the first one that was that was, that was fine so yeah crazy the music was perfect intense desperate scary tragic you name it it's funny because it's one of the first things i said about this movie as we were watching the credits i'm like howard shore it's gonna be good music, you know, because he's the composer who did the score for my favorite trilogy, which is Lord of the Rings. He also did the Hobbit movies, Silence of the Lambs, Gangs of New York, and one of the Twilight movies, Eclipse. Shut up. Team Jacob. Team Jacob, y'all. So let's talk about the characters. Seth Brundle is an eccentric scientist who is in the process of inventing a teleportation device. He mentions he hates to travel and he suffers from severe motion sickness. Um, he, he brings up a story of when he was a little kid and he barfed on his tricycle. Tricycle! It's not even a bike, it's a tricycle! It's got three wheels! They go slow! They're little baby bikes! He threw up on that. Not even a real bike. A tricycle. I got to thinking about it, and I'm like, you know what, that would be pretty debilitating, not being able to travel anywhere without getting terribly sick. I don't know if that was the passion behind this project, but you can tell he's so excited to tell somebody about it, you know, to let someone new in on his work. I think it was really clever the way they started this movie. We immediately meet our two main characters who are meeting each other for the very first time. You can tell that she has more, you know, social prowess than he does. Um, but there's something about him that she finds alluring, dare I say, intriguing. I don't know, I have to always do that when I say words like that. <laughs> Maybe it's just refreshing to meet someone so forward and unconventional at such a stuffy event as this place looked to be. I mean, everyone was wearing suits and stuff at the very first, the press event, you know? They look like boring people all around. I think these two were the only interesting people in the room. And so they went, gravitated towards each other, when his personality starts to change more rapidly, it's shocking. Like, they did a really good job in establishing him as this, you know, nerdy, funny, quiet guy in the beginning to have such an effect on the audience. You know, because if we didn't know him, we wouldn't be shocked that he's changing. You know, we as an audience, even though this is a very short movie, from what little we know about him, we were able to ascertain that this is not normal for Brundle when he starts changing, and we're like, You've changed, you know, even though even though they went straight to it. It's very, very efficient writing, you know, I love that. Like, this movie is only 90 minutes long, yet it has way more character development than any three-hour movie that I've watched, like, ever. And it's, it's way more subtle. I can't see this character being played by anyone else. Jeff Goldblum is such an interesting actor. People always ask me how I pronounce my name, Goldblum or Goldblum. Uh, I always tell them the same thing, how dare you speak to me. Like, there were so many times while I was editing this video that I got really annoyed that I had to cut part of the scene. 
um, because the acting is so good. I want to just leave the whole thing in. It's insulting to chop it down, you know, chop down the uhs and you know, you know the little the little things he does. You know, it's those little things that make this monster so effective. You know, the the darting eyes, the frantic breathing, the bizarre twitches that he does. <laughs> also, shout out to Goldblum for sitting in a chair for god knows how long while he's being transformed into various stages of the most hideous creature imaginable. Oh, and I was right. He was playing that piece in the beginning. Uh, Jeff Goldblum is an actual jazz pianist in real life. <laughs> On. Gina Davis plays the inquisitive journalist, Veronica. She's fun, she's independent, she's a little bit quirky. Uh, did, you, did you see the way she snatched that pickle out of her cheeseburger? She just plucked it. What a weirdo. The chemistry is so believable that I actually looked it up. Um, they dated in real life. They actually got married in real life, uh, Gina Davis and Jeff Goldblum. So that's why, because I'm like, they, 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 she looks like she loves him in real life. She she probably did. They met on the set of a, of the film before this one. They're just so great together, and she's also an amazing actress. This scene is almost too realistic. Like I feel like she's actually trapped in the pod. Just the the the, the terror on her face. I feel so sorry for. Veronica. She she falls in love with this guy so fast and then she has to watch him deteriorate at an even faster rate. She sees more of the ugly him than she got to see of the real him. She literally watches him fall apart until he is unrecognizable and she can't do anything to stop it. That's that's miserable. That is so freaking sad. And then there's Stethis. Stethis Borens. With a name like Stethis Borens, no wonder I didn't like him. He is just insufferable until he is not anymore. He had his own transformation and I was so surprised that he was able to put someone else before himself. He just didn't seem like the type. You know, he, he genuinely cared about Ronnie. You know, he, he was in love with her, you know? How could he not be? I, I hated what Stethis had happened to him in the end. You know what I'm talking about. I mean, at least he lived, I guess. But he has that horrible memory and he's just, oh, he lost so much that night. I felt so bad for him. Seriously, even if he was still a turd, I would still feel bad for him because that was, oh, that was so disturbing. Oh, and the doctor guy is played by the director, David Cronenberg. Can you imagine talking to someone, you're just like, you know that movie, The Fly? I was the gynecologist in it. They'd be like, oh, that's so cool. And you'd be like, oh, and also I directed it. <laughs> that's so cool. I love when creators and directors act in their own movies. Okay, so I'm running out of time, so I'm just going to read off of my notes for now. Um, the baboon was killed for no reason. Listen, hear me out. Seth had tested this invention, probably pretty extensively, right? He knew that the pods couldn't handle living things, but he wants to show his girlfriend how scientistical he is. So what does he do? He acquires a baboon from God knows where, shoves it into the teleporter, knowing full well it's just gonna turn into a pile of writhing, pulsating spaghetti noodles. Rude. 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 Uh, Goldblum did not receive an Oscar for Best Actor. He wasn't even nominated, and a lot of people were upset about this because he deserved it. Uh, director David Cronenberg does a lot of biological horror, or, uh, body horror, or I like to call it just disgusting crap, I guess. So I'm looking forward to uh, see, maybe seeing more from him. Um, I wish Brundle would have left his invention as it was. So already it would have made him rich and famous. There's nothing like that. Even even today, there's, there's no teleporters of anything. It was the science that motivated him. He just wanted to see if he could. He didn't stop to think about whether or not he should. Um, at one point, Seth tells Veronica that most people would give anything to turn into something else. Um, 
I think that says a lot about him and his worldview. Um, also, I don't know if that's necessarily true. I want him to cite his source for that little bit of opinion. I, I don't want to turn into something else. You don't want to turn into something else. You've seen it happen. You've watched. You've witnessed it. In this movie, do you want that? No. I, I guess in the end he kind of got his way. I guess. The ending, the ending hurt my heart. The way he asks her to end it for him, that's just so sad. He points it at his own head and he's just saying, please, I, I gotta go. Like that, that's, oh my gosh, that's terrible. And the sound he made when he falls out of the pod, he's like, ah, you know what I'm talking about? That was so sad. <laughs> I think of all the ways that they could have ended this story, I think this was the best possibility. Like, I don't think the audience could have handled another um, fusion, should I say? Is that the right word? Fusion? Fusion? Um, like, the fly mixed with Seth, mixed with Veronica. I would not, I would turn off my TV. You show me that crap, I'm not watching that. So I'm glad it ended the way it did, um, even though it was so sad. I really, I wasn't expecting a happy ending or anything, but I was a little bit like, oh my gosh, that's the end, you know, because I'm just so used to it. I'm so used to, you know, very formulaic, very predictable um, movies, because a lot of times that's what they are. But this one, no, no, oh my gosh, no. This movie is categorized as a drama slash horror, um, although I would say there's, there's a lot of romance in it actually surprisingly like it's more romantic in my opinion than most actual romance movies like i will take this over romeo and juliet any day way more entertaining i don't care about those people i do care about these characters a lot and i want them to live happily ever after but we we know that doesn't happen that doesn't happen I hope no children watched this, although knowing 80s kids, I'm sure they did. I'm sure so many kids watched this and were just traumatized forever because this is, I can't imagine seeing this as a kid, even like the, the, the bar fight scene, you know, the, the transformation, the face falling off, the ears, the, just, can I just say all of it, like pretty much all of it? <laughs> that would just scar you for life, I feel. Okay, with that, I'm going to leave you with my favorite part of the entire movie. This. Just the sound that he makes when he steps onto that cold floor. <laughs> I actually thought it was kind of cute. They just did so good with the sound there. I just, I loved it so much. I watched it so many times. <laughs> Something about the, the little plop of the foot. I don't know. It's the only time that I would call that fly cute. If you would like to watch along with me or vote in polls or have access to my content a little bit earlier just to support my channel, um, you can visit my Patreon down in the description box below. As always, thank you for watching. I had fun. Hope you had fun. And I'll see you next time. Bye!